Number three, community. You've been hearing about it from everybody here. I used to think that community wasn't important, not as important as strategy. Here's what I know. You can go and try to do things on your own and go online and even figure out, you know, take courses and you, you've done it, you've bought online courses. Raise your hand if you've bought online courses. Uh, raise your second hand if you've bought online courses that didn't work. Look around, everybody. The reason they didn't work is because you were doing them alone. You didn't have the tribal connection. We, especially as women business owners, we thrive in community. We feel bolstered by collaboration. Friendship fuels our business. I'm not saying that men don't need that, but somehow we really thrive when people believe in us, when people can say, we've got your back. Community allows level three sharing. Level three sharing is when you can sit down next to somebody perhaps somebody you've never met, and when you sit down and she says, how are you? And you can say back to her, well, since you're asking, this is how I'm really doing. And you tell her stuff, you wouldn't tell your friends or your family because everybody wants to fix you, or everybody wants to tell you to get a real job. You don't want to hear that. You want to be able to show up and celebrate your accomplishments. Ding dong, ding dong. I made my first $10,000 a month. Woo! Knowing you won't be judged. And you can also, as was said on the panel, if you're having a hard day, you can have a soft place to land. Vibrational vortex comes from having a community of like-minded people who are going after the same goal that you have, where the belief is that a rising tide lifts all boats. A vibrational vortex where everybody is staying in the vortex, and if one of us gets kicked out, everybody brings us back in. A community of this caliber is like a watering hole for unicorns. <laughs> Where it's not just about doing business in a linear way, it's about really enjoying life and having it be a participatory thing, place where you can belong while you grow your business. Why do you need this? Well, we've been talking about it all day yes, uh, today and yesterday, is that when you're in isolation, you have self-doubt. True? Yes. So when you're in community, it removes isolation and self-doubt. You gain a family of superheroes who've got your back. You gain a family of superheroes who way outweigh the toxic people in your life who don't fully believe that you can do it. When you have community, there is compassion, not competition. You're already competing with yourself, right? You don't need to compete with others. When you've got community, you go from isolated to championed. And I don't know about you, but when I'm championed, by hundreds of people, oh my God, watch me. I would like for you to turn to the person next to you and discuss for one minute each how this three-part blueprint of strategy, structure, 
and community might help you. The person with the straightest hair will go first. One minute, two people, and you at home, I just want you to journal what would happen if you had strategy, structure, and community. So I'd like to hear from someone who doesn't have this in their life now, how it might make a positive impact. Raise your hand. Yes. I just said, I've been doing my business for a long time, since 1986. Yeah. And it's just this year I'm starting to put structure for my own business. Yeah. Yeah, it's absolutely amazing when you have community, how it, I don't know, it kind of like, yeah, it lifts you up, it takes you into the stratosphere. That sounds like kind of grandiose, but it's really this, Astrid, this confidence of like, I don't have to figure this out. You mean I can reach out 24 seven and get an answer to my questions immediately? from a whole community of people who, whether they know you or not, actually, however weird that sounds, love you. And you felt it here, right? Is this your first time at an event like Kids here? Yeah, did you feel the love? You totally feel, do you feel supported? You, you could go to just about anybody and say, I need some help. I just need to talk about this. Well, even at lunch, right? It's like everybody pops in with ideas from wherever you are. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I didn't get that when I was in isolation. Yeah. Give her a hand, everybody. So here's the thing. You're probably, if I'm guessing, you're probably overwhelmed or frustrated that it's not happening fast enough. Yes? Yes. Somebody said, oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> I'm here to tell you that it doesn't have to be this way. It just, it, you don't have to work so hard. Yes, it's work. Okay? So I'm not one of my colleagues who will tell you you're going to make a million dollars in the next hour and that you won't have to work. I will tell you there is no magic bullet. Can you honor me for saying that? It won't happen overnight, okay? I'd like to dispel all those internet marketers or people who don't actually, oh, there's so many stories in my industry that you have not heard. Yeah, somebody said, that's good. I don't want to hear those stories. <laughs> okay, so only you can do the work but you don't have to do it alone. You don't have to be guessing the whole time. Like, am I doing this right? Is this the thing I should be working on now? Is this the right marketing message? Did I just hire the right person? Ah, I'm not sure, right? If you're tired of doing it alone, not knowing what to do, I would like to offer us as a resource. 